guys, welcome back to my channel. No routine. So I get asked quite a bit about my nails, how I maintain them, what products I use, cuticles, how I paint them. So I tried to touch on all of those categories in this video. It's very long. It's very, very long. But I mean, this nail care is very important. This cannot be taken lightly. This is a serious subject. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any questions that I don't answer, just let me know down below and I will put timestamps down below because I know this is a long ass video. Nail care routine, let's do this. I think I pulled the muscle. So starting out, I have my nail polish on. I will link this color in the description box if you guys are interested but we're gonna take it off. And I get asked sometimes how I take it off. I don't do anything fancy. Um, I get more in depth with my little setup later, uh, but I thought I would give you guys a little sneaky peek. It's very basic, very simple. Um, as far as taking my polish off, I don't do anything fancy. I use a cotton round and I honestly just take it off. There's not really any method to it, but I thought I would insert a little clip of me doing it just so you guys could see. And you'll be able to see how yellow my nails are, which is why we're about to do a whitening treatment. I don't use a base coat very often, so my nails get really yellow. If you're if you're like disgusted by this, you should probably tune out of this video because my ass has some yellow nails. It's okay though. It's it's honestly okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the beginning. We're gonna get into a super kick-ass whitening treatment that works. It works so well, but I thought I would give you guys a little before. Yes, they're yellow. Yes, it will be okay. Well, we're going to start out with hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, a little bowl, and a scrub brush. And I just make a paste. I don't measure anything out. I just put some baking soda in a bowl. I add a little bit of peroxide. I mix it with my finger and I make a paste. And that's that's as complicated as it gets, but this works, you guys. If you need to whiten your nails, you have to try this because it is amazing. So we have our little mixture. I'm gonna take this little scrub brush and I just, I probably should have made more. I'm just gonna add a little bit more baking soda. Oh, we'll go a little extra because I tend to use quite a bit of this. And a little bit more peroxide. And I just mix it up with my finger. Ah, my phone's going off, but they're going to have to wait, girl. Okay, so once you have your paste, I just take my little scrub brush, dip it in there, and I scrub my nails. And my nails get yellow because I don't use a base coat. Like, they get really yellow. And I can do this sometimes for, like, 10 minutes. I mean, it's not like scrub, 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 and you're done. I stand here for a good, like, five minutes and scrub my nails. I don't scrub them hard. Just a gentle scrubbing. And this makes a huge difference. I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried whitening toothpaste. I've used lemon. Lemon does work, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it kind of irritates my skin. So this doesn't bother my skin. Now, of course, everyone is different. If you're super sensitive, be careful is all I can say. My skin's usually not sensitive, so this doesn't bother me. But this is what I found that works the best. And I mean, yellow nails are nothing. It's not going to harm you. It's not bad for your health. It just looks shitty. So that's why I do it. But I mean, not many people see my bare nails, but... <laughs> I'm doing a nail care video, so we gotta whiten these babies up a little bit. And when you do this, you will make a mess. Do you see? There is, it like splatters everywhere, but that's okay. Once you've it done helps. that for a good like five minutes, get both hands really good. I tend to focus on my left hand and I always neglect my right hand. So let's scrub the left hand or the right hand a little bit more. And we should be good. Okay. So once I'm done, I just rinse out whatever's in the bowl. Set that to the side. And I just wash my hands off. 
oh my gosh, such a big difference. I'll show you guys in better lighting, but it really does make a huge difference. Oh, this is terrible lighting. I'm standing by the window, but look how much whiter my nails are. They're still pretty yellow at the tips, but that is not going to go away, and I don't really care. So, yeah, it definitely got a lot of the yellow off, so that's good. Today we're going to do my most favorite treatment that I do. I do this a few times a week. It has changed the life of my nails. I'm not even kidding. It's so easy. It's just olive oil and a hand scrub. It will make the hugest difference. This right here is the reason my cuticles look as good as they do. Are you ready to change your life? Let's do this. So you need a little bowl and then we're going to take our olive oil and pour just enough in to cover our nails. So not, don't go ham people, don't go H-A-M. I'm going to pop this into the microwave for 20 seconds, no longer than 20 seconds because you will burn your ass. Just keep an eye on it. It will get really, really hot, so I don't want you guys to burn yourself, so please be careful. Be very, very, very careful, because this stuff gets hot. When I use this, Tony always says, be careful, you're going to deep fry your fingers, and you will. I've been there. So this is the scrub that I use. So I soak my cuticles for a good, like, 10 minutes. The longer, the better. If you can do it for 20 minutes, do it for 20 minutes. And then I take this. The only places I can find this anymore are TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I've tried so many hand scrubs. This is by far the best one. I've been using this for probably like four years. I stock up. When I find this, I buy every single one that they have. It is my fave. I love it because it's not too harsh, but it's still, it kind of still exfoliates your hands. It's like the perfect consistency. It's so good. If you guys ever see this, buy it, buy them out, buy every single one that they have. So I just get some warm water. I take this, and usually my hands have cuticle oil all over them, but I had to handle my camera, so that's not happening. And I just take a small amount, I rub it all over my hands. So I like to turn the water off while I'm using it because we don't need to waste water. So I just kind of work it into a little bit of a lather. I'm careful around my cuticles because you don't want to do any damage. So just be careful. I mean, you guys know how to use a hand scrub. And I just rub it around. And then if you have leftover cuticle oil or like the olive oil that you used, sometimes I'll mix that in with the hand scrub and use them together. But it's up to you. And then I just rinse it off with warm water and you be done. <laughs> So this is my setup. Very basic, very easy. This little thing under here is actually a cutting board. So it, this is ghetto, but it works. So I have a paper towel. I have a newspaper because when I'm using acetone to clean up around my cuticles, which we'll get to, I like to use newspaper to get the excess off of my brush. I have my little nippers, which I would die without, nail clippers, a nail file. This is a really old one that I got from Sally. It's Beauty Secrets. Oh gosh, I don't even know what the grit is because it's like worn off, but it's just like a 99 cent nail file. I always have a little lid because this is what I put acetone in, which we will get to. Zoya Remove Nail Polish Remover, which is the only nail polish remover that I use. It's expensive. It's $10 for one of these bottles, but it is the best. I have my HK Girl Top Coat because that is all that I use top coat wise. Nothing else touches these nails. And this is the base coat that I sometimes use. This is the Formula X one, but it has been discontinued, which is so depressing because I hate base coats. This is the only one that I've ever truly loved and they got rid of it, so it's kind of sad. Um, and then I have some cotton rounds. Usually, well, not usually, always, I use the Quo brand. This is a Canadian brand. Um, my aunt in Canada sends these to me because they don't get like lint and stuff on your nails. They're just the best. I love these, so if you're in Canada, 
girl, you better stock up because these are the best. And then I do have some acetone, any brand. This I got at Target. I'm not picky when it comes to acetone as long as it is 100% pure acetone. It cannot just be nail polish remover for cleaning up around the cuticles. Acetone is what I like to use because you get like a really sharp line, which we'll get to. Then I have some nail polish thinner. I always get asked what nail polish thinner I use or what I do if my polish is thick. Just a few drops of this and you're good to go. So like say, well here, I have a nail polish right here. Say this was too thick. This is Like Air I'll Rise from Great Lakes Lacquer, which is what I had on at the beginning of the video. If this was too thick, I would just open it up, take like four drops of this, put it in the bottle, close it up, close the nail polish up, and give it a little shake, and it will thin it right out. It's a lifesaver, and this is under $10, and this thing will literally last for a year because you don't use it that often, but this is like my third one. I love it. I'm sure you could use any nail polish thinner. I just prefer the oily one. It's amazing. And then I have Instant Cuticle Remover from Sally Hansen. This is my favorite one. And I will show you guys how I use this in a little bit. And I also have this American Classics Jealous Advanced Nail Gel Coat. I like to use this with any type of like chunky glittery polish because this gives your nails like a glass like finish. It's kind of a thick almost like a gel topper. It's really good and you can use it in conjunction with your favorite top coat so it's awesome. And then I have a little buffer. This I got at like the dollar store. I'm not picky when it comes to my little buffer as long as it works. And I think I've pretty much covered everything, but I do need to plug my phone in because that bitch is on like 7%. So the first thing that I usually do, I'll just kind of look over my nails. If I feel like they need trimmed, if they need filed or anything, I will do that. And I haven't cut my nails because I wanted to show you guys how I do it. I know everybody does it differently. Some people only file their nails. Some people swear that it's terrible if you cut them. I cut mine. My nails grow so fast. I cut them once a week because I just like them to be a certain length and this for me is a little bit long. But hey, to each his own. So I just take any old nail clippers and I mean there's not really any method to my madness. I just kind of, I do like half and then I go and I do the other half. That's pretty much it. And let me get rid of that nasty little piece isn't it gross like it's just your nail but once it's clipped off it's like the nastiest thing ever you're like oh my god a fingernail clipping is disgusting so I pretty much just do that the whole way around and I don't take too much off I just take a little bit off because filing will also make them a little bit shorter but yeah that's that's what I do my nails just my nails grow so fast and my nails are extremely strong I don't use any type of strengthener, like OPI Nail Envy is really good if your nails are weak and you need to get them strong, but I don't know why my nails are just like, they're strong. Oh girl, my cuticles need done. They are looking ragged. So once I get all of the nails cut, I just take my nail file and I, this one has like two sides. This side on the back is a lot rougher. Um, way too rough for my nails so I use this side I wish I knew the grit on this let me see if I can figure it out so I will figure it out and I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys I like this grit but again these are all just things that I do this is not like Bible this is not you know take it to the grave you can't do it any other way I'm just showing you guys the way that I like to do things if you do it differently that is okay Neither of us are bad, neither of us are wrong. It's just everybody has their way of doing things and I'm just sharing mine with you guys. Okay, so I just start and I know they say you're not supposed to file both ways and I try. I try to only file in one direction because that's what you're supposed to do. It just takes so much dang time. So I do tend to file both ways. But I just, my nail shape is pretty 
square, I would say. It's not like sharp square. Make sure that it's straight. And that's pretty much it. And I do that the whole way around. I know this going back and forth both directions is probably killing like you nail techs out there, but it's just the way I do it. And sometimes my nails do peel a little bit after I file them, but oh well, it is what it is. So I kind of change the angle a little bit. I just like to be on the edge of the table so I can like tuck my other fingers in as I'm working on one nail. So then after that is done, I will usually take my little cuticle nippers. These are from Rite Aid. They're from Revlon. It's like their gold series. These are expensive too. Like all cuticle nippers are expensive. They're like $18 and I'm like, girl, that's crazy. So cuticle wise, there's a big controversy. Some people say it's okay to cut your cuticles. I say a thousand million percent it is my number one cuticle rule and i urge you guys please do not cut your cuticles i know it's tempting and i've said this in previous nail care videos you see them looking all ragged and you're like if i just cut that away they're gonna look so much better i am telling you in the long run it is going to f your nails because they're gonna keep growing back thicker and harder and it's not going to make it better. It's a temporary fix, but in the long run, it is not what I think you should do. Like, it's not good for your cuticles at all. So what I suggest doing is pushing them back. You can use your finger. You can use an orange stick. They have cuticle pushing tools. I use this tool right here, my finger. Or usually I use my thumb. So I just go around and I'm not going to do it yet because I want to show you guys something before that. Whatever you do, do not cut your cuticles. If you soak them in warm olive oil one, two, three times a week, however many times you can do it, whatever you have time for, and you gently push them back, put on cuticle oil, put on lotion, whenever you think of it. If you take care of your cuticles and baby them a little bit, they will come around. I promise you they will come around. It's okay to go around and cut like little tiny bits here and there, but I see like when I go to the nail shop to get a pedicure, I see girls getting manicures and they will cut their entire cuticle off and I just cringe. It is, uh, no, please don't do it. So I do go around with my little cuticle snippy nippers and I will, like, I have a little piece of dead skin right here. I'll snip it off. Not a big deal. But I would never go around and just snip, snip, snip the entire cuticle off. For the most part, my thumbs are the only areas that get really bad. Like, my thumbs, because I pick at them when I get nervous, and then they, they look really okay, shitty. Okay, so once we get that done, I will use the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover no more than once a week no more than once a week because this stuff is no joke. So I take a little bit of this. This stuff is amazing though. Like it really works. I take a little bit and I will put it just right at my cuticles and I kind of spread out that little bit. I don't keep squeezing. I squeeze out a small amount and then I use the tip to spread it out because this stuff, it, it really works. Okay, and then we'll do the thumb. Somebody's coming downstairs. You walking over with us? With who? With us. You and Nick? Oh, yeah, me and Nick. Now, this part's totally personal preference. If your cuticles are really bad, you can let that sit and then take some sort of cuticle removing tool or an orange stick and kind of scrape away the dead skin that might be on your nail. Because mine aren't bad, I simply let it sit and then I wipe it away with just a little bit of nail polish remover, but it's totally personal preference. Um, so there wasn't really much to show at this point, but I still kind of wanted to include it. So yeah. So once we're all done with that and our cuticles are softened, I like to go in just with my finger and push my cuticles back. There are tools you can buy for this, but your finger is the easiest and the cheapest way. And just use a very light hand. You don't want to be digging. You just gentle, very gentle, and just push them back. 
and we're almost ready to paint our nails which is the best part okay so now I take my little buffer and I don't use step one which is like really rough I start with step two which is smooth please I'm urging you do not over buff your nails I made the mistake of getting a manicure in a nail salon a few weeks ago like a month or so ago she jacked my nails so bad it I would never ever ever do it again the only reason I did it is because Tara we had gone to get pedicures and she was getting a manicure and I'm like oh I'm here I might as well you know sit and let him pamper me for 10 minutes it was awful it looked like a four-year-old had painted my nails she buffed the crap out of them they were so damaged so yeah just use a gentle hand and then I go to step three, which is a little bit softer. And this like really buffs them without being too harsh. And this just will take away any bumps or ridges. Like if your nails are kind of textured or bumpy. I know my mom has some ridges on her nails and this really helps when I do this for her. And then I take step four which is it makes your nails nice and shiny it's like it's really cool how it works like they're instantly shiny it's crazy and you don't have to do this if you don't want to I just like to do it maybe once every week or so it just makes your nails feel nice and smooth and if you use a gentle hand it won't damage them so once we're done with that, I'm going to take my little lid and I fill this up with acetone because after we paint our nails, this is what I use to do the cleanup. So we'll just set that there so he is ready to go. I'll put it here so you guys can see it. We're not quite ready for him, but we will be soon. First off, I'm going to put on a base coat. Let's do that. This is the Formula X one. Just use your favorite base coat. I'm terrible. To be honest, you guys, 99% of the time I do not use a base coat because I just, I don't like them. I don't like the way they make nail polish apply. I'm just not a fan. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a base coat. So I just, there's not really any method. I just kind of put it on. I think I got a little bit too much. Let's get some of that off of there. And make sure you do the tip of your nail as well. That's called wrapping your tip. I'll show you guys when we're polishing. But I usually start in the middle and then I go over to the left and then I go over to the right. And then I'll usually go over like one more time. And then this, when you do your tip like that, it's called wrapping your tip. Wait, there's like something on my nail. See? this sheet there's like a little fuzzy or something hang on and hang on i will take my little cleanup brush this is my life this is a kalinsky 888 brush that's all it says on it this brush has been through hell if i get too much one i just like to take my brush and just get it off and we'll do more um, clean up when we after we paint our nails don't worry I will show you guys exactly how I do it so the nail polish that I'm using is from Julie G it's called fierce and fab I haven't used this one in a long time so we're gonna see I forget how this formula is but we're gonna find out so painting my nails this is probably the number one question I get besides cuticles how do you paint your nails? How do you get such a nice sharp line? I'm going to show you guys. So when you're doing your nails, you don't want to have too much polish on the brush. Let me get this out of the way because I will knock it over. And everybody paints their nails differently. I like to start kind of like right here. And I just... I go down pretty much the whole way to my cuticle, drag it up, oh this formula feels nice, and then I go around on the right side, and 
get a little bit more polish because I didn't quite get enough and do the left side and I go, I try to get as close to my cuticle as I can without flooding the cuticle which if you do that you might as well take the polish off and start over because it's it's a mess so that's how I do it and then I wrap the tip so you just want to take run the brush along the tip of your nail and if you get nail polish on your skin it's okay we're gonna we're gonna take care of all that so move on to the next one I start in the middle go down as close as you can get to the cuticle without actually like getting nail polish all over your skin do the right side this nail polish is drying really fast because it's a neon so they tend to they can be tricky but we'll be okay bring it around and then I just kind of go back over and smooth it out see how that's kind of pulling up a little bit can you see that we'll fix that with the second coat so I wouldn't worry too much about it Ah, I don't love this formula, but that's okay. I'm going to show you guys how I work with the tricky formula. Okay, get a little bit more polish. Same thing on the right side. And smooth it out. Do the tip. Okay, time for the second coat. So same thing, we're gonna do it the exact same way, but on the second coat, I like to make sure that I really cover every area that I need to cover. I feel like I'm a lot more careful with the second coat, like I make sure if there's any spots I missed on the first coat that I take care of them. Yeah. This, this formula has a little bit to be desired. It's not terrible, but it's not the best that I've ever used. It's a little, um, like thick. And Julie G usually has kick-ass formulas. This one's a little tricky. So we are good. That is two coats. So once this dries a little bit, I'm going to show you guys how I clean up. And this looks darker. Once we put the top coat on, you'll see it kind of come to life. Neons tend to do that. So, I have my acetone. I'm going to take my little cleanup brush, and I get a lot of questions about brushes. You can use an angled brush. I used to use an e.l.f. brush. Then I used a Galactic brush. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with, this is the one that I love. I've been using this brush for years. It is so, so good. If I can find it online, I will link it down below. But I'm going to dip into my acetone and then I go onto my newspaper and I get the excess off. You do not want your brush dripping with acetone because it's going to jack up your polish. And then I just go around and I get any excess polish off of my skin and I make that nice sharp edge. Around. Oh, look what I just did. I just jacked up my thumb. Oh my god. Okay, we'll fix that. I'm not worried about that right now. I'll show you guys how I fix that. So we just go around. And I just use the very edge of the brush to make that nice, sharp edge. And I'm dipping. Here, I should put this down here so you guys can see. I'm dipping, and then I am getting... The excess off so that my brush is not covered in acetone 
This is really hard to do on camera because usually I have my hand contorted all kind of ways. And this is why you want to use straight up acetone because nail polish remover will not give you this nice sharp edge. It's just not strong enough. Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit more. So working on my middle finger now. No matter how good you are at painting your nails, nobody's perfect. So you're always gonna have some little areas that need, that need cleaned up. And this little trick with the brush, this will take a crappy looking paint job and make it look like you are like the best nail artist in the world or nail painter in the world. Oh, I got a little fuzzy on my nail. Get off of there. Okay, and then I'm going to do this side. And then if you got any polish on your skin when you wrapped your tip, just get that off too. Oh, this thumb is looking rough. I did not do a good paint job on this pinky, I mean. Not my thumb. Okay. But we can fix it. We can salvage it. Oh shit, I forgot I jacked up my thumb. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my finger into my acetone and then I'm gonna run that, just kinda like tap it on there and I'm actually gonna take the polish once that dries and I'm gonna put another coat on to try to cover up my mistakes. Just cover it up, it'll be fine. You wanna make sure your polish is kind of dry before you start going around with this brush because if it's not, you're not gonna get that nice sharp edge that you want. It's just gonna pull the polish and it's, it's not gonna look good. So make sure you let your polish dry for at least a minute before you start going in and cleaning things up. And this polish looks like it's a stainer. Like if you get it on your skin, it does not want to come off. Oh gosh. So I'm going to take my top coat now that we've dried for a good like two minutes. And I'm going to put my top coat on. And I do it the same way that I put my nail polish on. I start in the middle. Go over to the side. And then go over to the other side. Wrap the tip, and we're good to go. Do you hear my door creaking? Oh my gosh, that kind of scares me. And if you guys need a good top coat, this video is not sponsored, but I'm telling you, HK Girl is the best top coat that I've ever used. It dries in under a minute, like dries, that I can just get up and go on with my life. It's so shiny, I love it. It's, I, I don't know that I could like do my nails without it because it just, it just dries so fast. You don't have to sit and freaking wait for your nail polish to dry. I'm so impatient. I hate sitting and waiting for polish to dry. So that is pretty much it, you guys. That is how I paint my nails. That's how I take care of my cuticles. And I do urge you to baby your cuticles. Don't only soak them in olive oil once a week, but put cuticle oil on them. Put lotions on them whenever you think of it. Like I have cuticle oil everywhere, in my purse, in my car, 
in my bedroom and the bathrooms like in every room I have cuticle oil so if I think of it it's right there and I can put it on it will make a big difference so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video I am so proud of you all for making it till the end thank you because I know that was a long ass video I feel like I should have like cookies or something for you I mean maybe if we were in kindergarten so hopefully I answered all of your questions. If you guys have any requests for nail videos, let me know. Is there like a particular type of nail art that you wanna see? Is there a polish line that just came out that you want me to review? Let me know down below. Oh, it worked! So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Oh, do you ever wear a collared shirt and you feel like you can't Oh, God, I could just hawk right out of this. Oh, I better not do that. Bye! I feel like I could do a couple backflips <laughs> and break it up.